Okay, so I don't think I've ever bought any clothes off Amazon before. They just feel loose in the crotch area, like... Oh! Hello, baby? Oh, it's... Lots of positions, it shows you. What is this? Okay. Oh, that sounds like a... That cashew's gonna come running. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Go, cashew, leave it. Hey Health Nuts, welcome back. My name's Nicole and I am currently uh, just getting into my third trimester in my pregnancy and I thought this would be the perfect time to basically browse on Amazon and what I did is I looked for the top rated pregnancy products and I really wanted to pick things that weren't just like sounded weird or like strange but also things that i think i would actually use so this video is not only entertaining but also informative for you guys and helpful so you guys can learn from me learn from my mistakes on what to buy and maybe what to avoid from amazon in the highly rated pregnancy product section and you know what there's some products here that even if you're not pregnant i think you would benefit from and i'm just so excited so we got these in the other day we ordered a bunch of stuff chloe and i were like browsing through and finding like some really fun stuff to try out. And these have just been hanging out in my garage. I'm so excited to open them up, see what we have. And then I'm gonna be testing them all like today. Like right after I open them, you're gonna get to see these products live in action. So let's rewind to a couple of weeks ago where I was browsing through and ordered all of this stuff. All right, first up we have Belly Buds. I love the name. My marketing background's like, yes, good name. Uh, so these are pregnancy bump headphones that basically play music and voices for your baby to be. This sounds like I need to get it, right? Okay, let's add that to the cart. All right, next up on the list, we have a maternity belt. So this one has over 7,000 ratings. I guess you go by size. I don't know, the band on top kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie. So one thing that's been on my to buy list is a pregnancy pillow. Now this one has come highly rated, over 7,000 ratings, uh, four and a half stars. I like the gray, it looks really comfy. This pillow has changed my life. Absolutely love this thing. I love how soft and fluffy this pregnancy pillow was. You guys sold me, I gotta get the pillow, All right? Add to cart. All right, welcome back. So we're just gonna hop right in. I'm gonna start opening some bags. I kind of remember what I ordered. I know there's some clothes in here, which as my belly is growing, I definitely am in need of some actual maternity clothes. I have yet to actually buy anything that's maternity wear. I'm just kind of like wearing things that stretch right now. So that's gonna be a great option to have right now. I got my box cutter. Oh, I already, I know what these are. This is like Christmas. Wow, it's like my baby shower. <laughs> a baby shower for me. Ta-da! All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of intrigued by the packaging. Isn't this the cutest bag ever? So these are Pregnancy Flakes by Pink Stork. I have not heard of this brand before. And they're basically just 100% dead sea salt, natural magnesium salt flakes from the dead sea to support your relief from aches, pains, nausea, stress, and more. I'm excited to open this up and actually try it in a bath. Maybe we're gonna have a bath, I don't know. Salt bay. Okay, I'm just going to start filling up my tub. I gotta find my stopper thing. I think I lost it. I may just have to shove like a hand towel in there. Just DIY stopper. I will say right off the bat, it has like a softening effect to it. And it was salty. But you know what? I think this is just like a great thing to have. I'm definitely gonna be using this because like I said, I just really need all the magnesium that I can get right now. All right, I'm gonna relax for a little bit, soak my legs, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, what's this one? Okay, I just wanna make sure I don't actually cut something. Oh yeah, so this clothing line, they have, oh. So soft, oh, oh, wow, oh, these are soft. What size did I get again? Small, okay, okay. Huh? I got a big belly, girl. I'm not gonna lie, not my favorite. I'm definitely returning these. They just feel loose in the crotch area, like, I don't know. They feel like 
there's not enough room in the butt area and too loose in the front. Yeah, not my favorite. I'm probably gonna try ordering some black leggings from like H&M or something. They have so many great maternity basics. So I'm probably gonna send these ones back. They just don't feel like too tight on the bottom, too loose at, at the top. It feels like, yeah. Okay, so there's a few things in here. All right, so we have, oh, this I'm actually really excited about because now that I'm getting bigger, being in the car, the seatbelt, like even the other day we did a quick stop and it did hurt my stomach. So it's important that like you wear the seatbelt under your belly, but like it's still on your belly. Yeah, it says keep comfortable without sacrificing safety. So I guess this just like helps pinch down the front of the seatbelt so that it doesn't hit baby. Because like even if you're not in an accident, just stopping all of a sudden can still obviously. Okay, I can't open this, but long pregnancy nails are not helping. I don't really know. Does this come with instructions? Oh, it does. Okay, we'll look at those later. Wait, where did I put the oh, instructions? All right, safety first, especially when it comes to seatbelts. Looks like this is, maybe I should get Matt to come install this. Oh, does it like go through? Oh, okay. So you feed it through underneath the seat. I think I've missed like five steps. Oh, okay, you feed, oh, so, okay, you feed it through the middle part. Okay feels secure. So I'm gonna get Matt to double check that before we actually drive, but I just wanna see if the whole idea of it works. So I'm gonna sit down. All right. So I think this just goes like in between. All right, all right. I mean, I guess the whole idea is that you basically are avoiding the belly. I think that this is a really smart thing to have. It's not the most comfortable on the legs, I'm not gonna lie, but I do think for long car, car rides, it would be smart to have. So I'm probably gonna keep this one. All right, let's go back inside. Okay, next we have a maternity belt. I So baby for me is sitting more high, I'd say. Um, so I don't know if I need this yet. I felt like I was feeling heavier like maybe a few weeks ago, but now I feel like pretty balanced. But you know what? As my belly grows, I'm probably gonna need some extra support. Let's see. Oh, did we get beige? I thought we got black. I thought black. Black or a beige, right? So it can go out under clothes. Add to cart. Oh, maybe I got beige, I don't know. Oh. Oh, is this like a double layer thing? Wow. Okay, so I think this goes around. <laughs> Hit. Then this looks like. Goes around. Oh, okay. This is flipped inside out. Okay. <laughs> well, imagine like getting ready in the morning. You're like, hang on. I just need half an hour to put my belly band on. I know, Cashew, I'm very confused too. Okay, so that attaches on there. Oh, I feel strapped in. Hey, Matt. I'm ready for sexy time. Wait, did I get it right? I don't know how I feel. You know what, this is kind of pointless, to be honest. Like, I don't feel like that does anything. The bottom, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I think it's, this is like, adding more weight than anything. So, and I feel like it's just too complicated. I just want something I can just slip on. So I'm gonna try the other one and see how that one. Oh my, get this off of me. Band number two. I think this one's gonna be better. <laughs> Matt, can I get your assistance? I'm gonna put it in position and I want you to get it like nice and tight. No, uh, yeah, I'm fine, all right. What do you think? I don't know what the purpose is. Like, really? Yeah. It's under clothes, right? Yeah, <laughs> you keep asking, he's like, you don't wear that out in public, right? Um, I would say, you know what? This one's definitely 
my favorite out of the two. I still don't feel like it's providing enough support like right underneath. It's kind of loose, but it's not bad. If I was a bit bigger, I could maybe see how this would come in handy. I just definitely like this one over the other one. I would not, don't do the other one. I don't know what that over the belly strap is, um, but this is a better fit actually. I might even get it put on tighter. I feel like you need someone to help you really get it on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could see, I could see the appeal. Okay, this is, this is the one that Chloe is the most excited for, the belly buds. And surprisingly, I've heard a lot of people talk about these and say, like, they sound gimmicky, but a lot of people are, are like, no, you need to try them, they're really cool. So these are prenatal audio speakers. <laughs> okay, this box needs, it needs to go. Wow, they actually look like good quality, okay. Hello, baby, baby, you there? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, so it says you gotta wipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe it up, swipe it up. I got some little baby, baby wipes here. I did oil my stomach this morning, so you probably just wanna like take off any oil and stuff, so the little sticky pads stick. There's instructions, I need to peel off this guy. Peel that, ooh, they're very jelly. Okay, got one. All right, we got the sticky pads on and then I just place some. I don't know if she's sleeping right now. She was kicking earlier. Her head's down here. <laughs> she's usually right there, and then she's usually kicking here. But maybe this will wake her up. Oh, wow. They're on there. Oh my God. <laughs> I could dance with these. <laughs> okay. We are secure. <laughs> so I guess the idea is like I can, baby and I can both listen at the same time. So cute, okay. All right, baby acorn. So I'm listening to Lose Somebody by Kygo and One Republic. So wait, she, there's music playing here. Oh. You don't want to do too loud because she has little ears. I'll let you know if she kicks. See that one? Initial feedback. It's hard to say because I was kind of like pushing her around a little bit um, to get her to move. So I don't know if, like actually when I put these on initially, she did move. So it's hard to say if she's responding to the music or just me kind of like pressing on my stomach. I could see this just being something fun to put on, but I don't know if like I would necessarily like recommend it for someone like, oh my God, you have to get this. I know Chloe was very excited for these. I just feel like she probably is gonna hear what's happening outside in the world anyways. And I could like read a book to her or play music. Um, I don't know if I need to like inject music straight into my belly for her to hear. It's a cute concept. And I think that this is like something, yeah, fun to gift to someone, but I don't necessarily think like, this is a must have when you're pregnant. So, hello, do you like this? What rating do you give it? Oh, no answer. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what is? I think that one's done. My squatty potty. I'm so excited. My poops are about to get, they're about to get real. So there was two options. There was one that was just stationed squatty potty, but it was just kind of bulky. And this one is a folding one, which I think is more, <laughs> Matt's gonna be like, what is in our bathroom? It's my squatty potty, what? Okay. Oh, it's... Oh! Oh wait, does it lock? Oh, wait. okay. Lock it into place before squatting. Now we're ready. I guess I need to like, let's pretend I'm on the toilet. This is better because like, you're like kind of dipping in the bowl a bit. And then, <laughs> Chloe's dying, <laughs> Chloe's dying. Okay, then we have... <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, this feels this feels comfortable. Yeah, I could I could try this out. Right now, up until this point, I've actually been using a stool from my kitchen that I use, and it's like kind of too high and it's not working. So now I'm gonna use this, and I'm just gonna like pop it right under my vanity. There's a little spot here, you know, just right under there. Okay, here's all the clothes. I don't know what that is. 
Oh, I forgot we got that. I'm telling you, baby brain, I don't remember what I did yesterday. Okay, this is like an extender to wear jeans. And I feel like I'm the perfect size right now because I'm not, I'm like at that point where like definitely no pants fit. I'm guessing you put it in the first belt loop. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. How does this work? I don't understand how this concept, like it must only work if you just, like the pants just fit. Okay, so Chloe made a good point. I think technically you wanna do low rise jeans for these. So I'm just gonna, I don't really have low rise jeans and the ones that I do have are like vacuum sealed. So these are gonna have to work. So I'm just gonna bring these down a bit and make it go under my belly. Get it on one side, strap it on the other. I guess the question is, if I had my shirt down, yeah, wait, what? Okay, if I had a sweater, yeah. Like if you're just wearing a sweater over top, I feel secure actually. I don't feel like my jeans are gonna fall off. So although I will say I'm gonna return this cause I just don't think I'm gonna get enough use out of it. I'm just like getting too big. I think that if you are still early in your pregnancy, this would work. Like it's holding in really well. I don't feel like my pants are falling off. So I think it's a win. I'm just not keeping it cause I don't think I'm gonna get much use, but it's holding them up. I'm quite impressed actually. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like really excited for these clothes just cause like I said, I haven't really, I don't think I've tried on maternity clothes at all yet. But these other, what are these? So it's from that same company, Leo Q. I don't know how you say it. Oh yeah, we just got a simple black dress, like tank top dress. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. I think I got a t-shirt version. Oh, so soft, like really soft, like jersey material. They're quite thin, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that's gonna be see-through, so we'll see. And then I got a gray one. I think it's the same as the pink. This one feels a little bit thicker than the pink. That's cute, I feel like I already like this one better. Okay, so we're gonna give those a try. We'll do a little fashion haul and see what those look like and whether they are yays or nays. To be honest, it's nothing, I know it's just like a black tank top dress, but I don't think it's anything exciting. I'm probably gonna end up returning this one. I find this one to be one of the biggest, like the loosest fitting one. I guess I probably should have gotten a extra, I don't know if they had extra small, but I probably, if I was to reorder, I would get an extra small in this one. I just find this one's kind of boring. I'm not a really like black clothing kind of person. I wear more like lighter colors and just like colors in general. You probably have noticed if you watch my channel. The fit up top, it's just like, but it's boring. I don't know. Maybe if like a little denim jacket it would look cute. Maybe if it was like lower too. I feel like it's really high. It's okay. And I only want to keep like keep stuff that I'm like, I love this. Not meh, it's all right. So I'm probably gonna end up returning this one. But I do think that this is like a good basic maternity wear piece to have. This is so cute. What do you think, Chloe? It's cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got some ruching on the side. And I think like this would, this is gonna fit me until the rest of the, the baby growing term, hopefully. I, I think this is a keeper. I like it. So this is the exact same dress, but in the lighter pink color. It definitely feels thinner. Feels really comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, when I first was putting it on, I was like, no, I don't think I'm gonna like this one. Um, it feels a little bit bigger, like underneath my belly. It's Both of them are small, same size. I don't know if it's, maybe I should just keep it because it's gonna be a good one as I get bigger and I can still wear this in the fall because longer. It actually feels longer in the length as well. We did a little test in the back to see if it was see-through. I don't think it is. I think you'd, you'd be fine. You probably just wouldn't want to wear something like black underneath. So I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one and even though it's a little bit looser underneath, like know that I'm going to grow into it in the next couple of months. Um, but it is really, really comfy. I will say that. Oh, my pregnancy pillow. Guys, I don't know how I've survived this long. I've been using like five pillows in bed. Surprisingly, when I talk to a lot of moms, a lot of people are like, oh no, I, ha I did, never used a pregnancy pillow. But then when you talk to people that did have one, they're like, yeah, like I couldn't imagine not sleeping without it. And I feel like now that I'm entering in my, in my third trimester, I need some extra cushion. Honestly, the reason why I waited so long to get a pillow is because it's a little overwhelming. There are so many options, so many reviews, like good and bad. So I hope this one 
you know, makes the cut. And even yesterday I had a subscriber tell me another pillow that I need to try. And it had, I think, just as many ratings on YouTube as this one. So now I'm confused. I'm like, do I keep this one? Do I try the other one? I don't know. I have commitment issues. Okay, this is one of those, like, how are we gonna get back in the bag if I don't like it? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, uh-oh, it's gonna expand, isn't it? It's expanding. Oh, it feels soft. Okay. Lots of positions, it shows you. This is not comfortable. Why did it, like, where's my next support? I don't. Wow, okay. Me and you, we're gonna be best friends. This is like why I wanted this pillow. Okay, so we go like this. So this is like my new pillow then. Oh, does your arm go underneath? Okay, and then you put the belly on the pillow. Hmm, it's snug as a bug. I don't know, I'm like trying to think of if I would actually sleep with this. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this out tonight and actually sleep with it and let you know what I think. Don't do this at home, kids. What is this? Oh, is this a pregnancy ball? Oh, it is, wow, it's such a small container. Wait, that is not the color. Is that a thing that Amazon does, like doesn't put the right colors? I ordered like a, a rose pink. Four colors, I think I like the dusty rose. That one's cute. That is not rose pink. That's like so misleading. That This is like Barbie pink. Oh my God, this looks like some sex toy or pool toy, I don't know. I'm not impressed. I'm gonna have to look at the reviews. Did anyone else say the color was wrong? So it is actually a few weeks ahead now into the future because life and also I needed to find a new exercise ball that I actually liked. So I just got this one in the mail. I'll link it down below. It's by Artist Soul or something. And I got a new color. They had this lilac purple one and it actually looks like the same color that was on the website. I can't remember how many ratings this one had, but I think it was also pretty good, but I'm gonna open it up, try it out and let you guys know right now if it's worth buying. Also, I'm like really in need of an exercise ball right now. Oh good, it comes with an air pump because I am not about to actually blow up one of these. How to use this pump. To inflate, attach vinyl hose to blue nozzle. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a cash is gonna come running. Also, the other one, I got too small of a size. Uh, my osteopath actually said I need at least a 65 centimeter size ball, just so I can actually sit 90 degrees on it with my legs. So I'm just gonna open this up. Does it just, I don't get it. Oh wait, I guess I must have to take this out. This is gonna ruin my nails. Chloe, <laughs> don't break a nail. It's not worth it, Chloe. Wait, do you take that out? Oh, it did come with instructions, hang on. Oh, maybe that's what you take it out with. <laughs> okay, it came with little tools. Oh, that goes in there, that goes in there, and we pump. Oh. Oh. The noises? Cassie's gonna freak. Okay, it's my arm workout of the day. Ah, 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 you leave it. All right, so here it is, all blown up. I'm actually really happy with the color. It's exactly what was online. And I'm really happy I got the bigger size um, because the other one definitely would have been too small. All right, so let's give it a try. So my osteopath said it should be, my legs should be about 90 degrees, which I feel like it is. But there are so many workout videos on YouTube that you can find. By the way, this is my niece, Diana. You wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? 
There's a ton of prenatal exercise videos using an exercise ball that you can find. And it's really good for prepping for labor. This is what my future videos are gonna be like, FYI. Please stick around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you tell, you tell everyone. Um, so when I purchased this, I purchased one extra pregnancy item that I wanna share with you guys that I've been already using and really loving. So we're gonna hop over to my bed. Follow Diana, we're gonna go check it out. So last but not least, this is just a bonus item that I got and I want to share it with you guys because I'm loving it. So this is a wedge pil pillow and I was on the fence whether I needed one, I wanted to get it. And then when I was ordering the exercise ball, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I really should get one because I'm getting bigger and I feel like I could use something like this. So I originally was gonna get, there was like a name brand version of this. I think it was like the Boppy brand. And I think it was about $60. It was pretty, pretty expensive for a little foam pillow that I'm only gonna really use while pregnant. And I only have a couple months left. So I searched a little bit deeper and I ended up finding this knockoff one that I think had good ratings. I ordered it. This one I think was $20 and it works great. Highly recommend. So basically I use this with my pregnancy pillow, which I've been loving by the way. I use this and I just put this under my belly on the side and it really helps support. I also will use this on my lower back. Um, if I'm watching TV on the couch, I'll put this and just prop it under my belly and it really helps support the weight to not kind of pull on you and it just, yeah, it supports your belly. And the best part too is you can just unzip it and wash the cover if you want to. So I will link this down below as well. And I think I mentioned already, I'm gonna have a full blog post with photos and links to everything that I mentioned in today's video. All right, there you have it. That is my must have or highly rated Amazon pregnancy items. It was so much fun to buy everything and test out for you guys and let you know if it was a yay or nay. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, okay, we're gonna have a little baby in the outro. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if there are some other pregnancy products that I missed and you think I should definitely try it, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps support my channel. I post here every single week and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon, bye. What, oh, you need to pan over this. So I don't know how this happened but I now have a puppy and a baby in my bed. Is this what the pregnancy pillow is good for? Okay, let's all have a nap, okay? Cashew's not even supposed to be on the bed. Okay, oh, it's okay, let's go have a nap. Okay, then you're gonna have a nap. Let's, let's lie down, lie down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> lie, lie down. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Okay, all right, good night guys, I'm, I'm pretty tired. <laughs>